Worry about your passion. Hey, fit check, make a bitch sweat. I got some Gucci on. I stay in my lane, on don't fuck with them. I don't know what you be on. Hot one, hot two, my blicky match my fit. I got on pink, so you know I brought them fit out of this bitch. I can't watch that. What it do, y'all? It's Kay. And if you didn't know, then you are a. Uh, you a hater. You are a hater. You're the hater. Nobody around you. Look around. Ask your friend to hold their phone. Get to their Instagram. Go to their follow. Type in Roll It Up K. They are already following me. Now grab your phone. Go to your phone. Type in Roll It Up K. You don't. You wanna know why? Bitch, you is a hater. And you won't make it nowhere with that hating shit. You wanna know why? Because I'm gonna box your ass out. The easiest way to not be considered a hater is by subscribing to this channel liking this video and commenting on this video and letting me know that you did all of that or you can let me know that you've been doing it you know what i'm saying i like when y'all i like the people that regularly let me know that they've been here like they always come in every time i see it they be like ben you know what it is don't tell me what to do again because i've been doing it you know what i'm saying it's like me washing the dishes and my mama my mama coming in behind me saying wash the dishes now i'm gonna break the plate now i'm gonna cut my finger on purpose I'm trying to see who the fuck does that affect me or my mom oh y'all got the hiccups on and they gone, that's how you get rid of the hiccups. Hold your breath, but you gotta inhale it. And hold it in for 10 seconds, release it. Now, you gotta release it. If you don't, you will die. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> to be honest, I, don't, I really don't have much going on today. All I'm doing today is I wanna try them dumplings, which I've been sweating me to try. And I wanna give y'all a movie review because apparently y'all like when I review movies. And um, that's where we can start. That's actually where we can start. So I just put it like this. There's a movie out on Netflix called Intrusion. If you haven't watched that movie yet, get the off this video because I'm about to spoil it. Last night I decided to watch that movie Intrusion and I um I didn't like it. Okay, so basically I love to watch Netflix movies because I pick the best ones. I don't know what it is about me, y'all. I've been looking at the real lately, like when I talk. I watched this Netflix movie and that bitch was good. And I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel about it. Basically, the movie is about this girl and no, it's not. Okay, see <laughs> basically this movie is about this man and this woman. They are married. They've been together for damn near 12 years, married for 12 years. One of them, I don't give a fuck. See, one thing about me, I watch the movie. Now, do I remember every last increment in detail? I try. But anyway, so yeah, they was married. Somewhere, somehow for 12 years, they was either married or uh, or together for 12 years. They met in college and in school, and um, he ended up, it's just, it's just some cheap shit. That's how they got together. Okay, um, the wife has cancer. And the husband, he takes care of the wife uh, because bitch, she got counsel, she would need somebody to take care of. You know how counsel be. I, I do not like counsel. If counsel was the person, I bend their fingernails back. I fuck them up. But um, yeah, so the wife has counsel, and that's what the husband holds over her head. Bitch, you got counsel, and, and who the fuck gonna take care of you? Because I ain't seen not one of the wife cousins. It's like that bitch, I got not one sister. One, what the fuck was her family at the whole goddamn movie? Anyways, well, she was from India, but I feel like Indians, they, they be the main ones. Kumbaya and sticking the goddamn gun. She was from India, moved to Boston, found a husband, they got married, all that, yada, yada, yada. They was living a happily ever after ass life. He ended up getting them a house built. He built the house himself though, with 12 other people. But he started realizing that it would be cheaper, like tax property, whatever it's called, if it seemed like he built the house by himself. So he ended up, um, basically that's what he tried to make it seem like. That's why he tried to make it seem like he built the house by himself. Yada, yada, that's what he was telling his wife. But bitch, that ain't why the fuck you built that house by yourself. Number one, you had 12 motherfuckers to help you build that damn house. Next thing you know, you, you the, the, one of the motherfuckers who, uh, who was helping you build the house, his dog came and seen him one day. His dog just came to come to the work site. Well, you know what I'm saying? Your house is being built. Come to see her motherfucking daddy. You, you decide that you want to be her damn daddy. So you kidnapped that motherfucking man daughter and thought he was crazy and he wasn't going to notice that it was your ass. He said that when he came, and, and, and he started working, and then when his daughter came to see him, the way you looked at his daughter, he just knew you was the type to kidnap the bitch. He said the storm talk down, his damn daughter went missing, he thought it was your ass. That mean you got a look in your eye, and to be honest, you did. You slick looking motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's a movie or not. I don't like you in real life, but when I see you, it better not be on the red carpet, because I'm gonna throw my whole fucking career away to strangle your ass. Anyways, uh, the man said that, um, basically, okay, so boom, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. The man are you serious right now, bro? The man ended up building his wife a house. You know what I'm saying? His wife thinks, oh my God, my husband just built us a, this beautiful big home. And it's, it's so lovely. You know what I'm saying? They, they they move into the house. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get comfortable. Why the fuck somebody breaking that bitch immediately? I'm talking about they didn't even get a chance to pull up in that bitch. I don't even think they was able to, to, to break the bed down a little bit. When nobody even able to get no dirt up their toenails the way they broke in that bitch so immediately. They broke into the house immediately. 
it fucking immediately. Instantly. Okay? So now they broke into the house, right? So they ended up coming home after they broke into the house because they wasn't there. So when they broke into the house, the husband was like, oh my God, what happened? Let me go and check the back door. So he went to go and check the back door. He really didn't go check the goddamn back door. He went to go and check and see if that little girl was down there that he goddamn kidnapped. And she was, because he had her in this little vault. He had her in this damn safe room. But um, as he was going to check to see if the little girl was still down there, he ended up, um, the wife ended up looking around the house. She was like, oh my God, somebody broke into this bitch. You feel me? When the husband came back upstairs, he was like, oh my God, somebody broke in, acting all surprised. Knowing somebody, you should have known somebody was looking for y'all mother. Now, anyways, push come to shove. I forgot what happened. Time go by, time go by. The police end up coming to just checking and all that. The house get broken into again, but this time they at the house. But he was outside checking on something, and the wife was inside. So the so the mother kidnappers ended up breaking into the house, grabbing the wife up, put her ass in the headlock, sew her ass on the ground, take the mouth, take the hands, and lock the up. The whole time. They thought that the husband went there, but the husband only, um, they, they only locked the, the wife up. They weren't trying to kill her or nothing. They only locked that mother up because they wanted to look for his daughter. He thought you had his daughter and he thought the right. But this whole time in the movie, they trying to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, nothing is really going on. But this is one of the movies that really did not have no plot twist. I mean, plot twist. The wife the whole time thought her husband was on some weird shit. So she started deep sea searching, doing a whole bunch of other shit. Cause she was like, Bitch, these folks broke into our house twice. The second time they broke into our house, you shot all three of them. And you made sure you shot them. And you ain't even let me know we had no gun. Bitch, if we married and there's a gun in our first hole, let me know what the fuck it is. Because I'm going to kill you before you kill me. Anyways, that's how that should have went. But she ain't let them know there was no goddamn gun. He ain't let them know there was no gun in the house. So when they broke in the second time, he go in the damn plant. Bitch, who in the fuck put a Glock 9 in some daffodils? Bitch, he went in the Glock. He went and got the Glock out the daffodils. Pull it out. Bing. Bop, boop, shot three niggas, shot one of them more than once. I said, God damn, he's fucking them up. He, da, 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 da. It sounded like an African dance out there. They weren't doing nothing but shit. Well, it wasn't no day. He was shooting motherfuckers by himself. But this is what's crazy. Before he shot and killed the man, he threw his wife out the window. He was like, babe, go run to the car and escape. I'll meet you at the car. But as soon as the wife get down, she running, it's like he didn't want her to see him in that mode. Soon as she jumped down, all she hears, then next thing you know, one of the killers come out the front door. You feel me? Next thing you know, boom, boom, he shot his ass again. He finished him. He more to come back his ass. He's a scorpio, get over here. Get over here. Get over here. He says, okay? So then the killer ended up getting shot again. So he, douche, y'all know how that um, dramatic fall be. And then the husband ended up, you know what I'm saying? They ended up calling the police and all that. Now, out of the three people that had broke back into the house the second time, which was the dad and the brother and the uncle or something of the little girl that was missing, the three people, they had died. But what basically two of them died instantly and one of them had survived a little bit. He was getting better, you feel me? And the police was coming back and letting them know that the man was getting better. So that's where the police fucked up at. Why would y'all let the goddamn man that shot him know that he was getting better? He went back to the hospital and put the goddamn plug on him like he was a messy grandma that he really didn't fuck with and wanted the wheel money to. That's what he would. He went up there and killed that man so much ass as if he owed him something. Anyway, so yeah, which the one that survived was the dad. The look her actual dad so but he ended up completely died because the husband went up there and pulled the plug and then the husband ended up telling the wife one day because she wrecked her car which he set up he tried to get her killed because he started to realize that the wife was starting to figure shit out yada 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 one day she was on her way home and a car had wrecked her he didn't answer the phone because i think because he, he thought she was gonna be dead he didn't answer the phone he didn't do nothing when she was calling like babe i just got a car accident but when she got home he was on the computer Phone right next to him. He told me, Oh my gosh, babe, are you okay? Bitch, I am trauma the fuck ties. Do it look like I'm okay and I just got them wrecked my car. But, anyways, that's what he messed up at. She she wrecked her car and he told her that she could use his. She started using his car right. What had happened, Jesus Christ, don't take me too fast, take me a little slow. She started using his car. Now, he got this GPS ass car. He started looking at the GPS. She started looking at the GPS and seeing where he went last. Boom, seeing he had went to a trailer park. Tap the trailer park. Why the fuck the wife go to the trailer park? The trailer park that she went to was the trailer park of the nigga that died. The one that the, 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 the husband killed. How you kill this man then go to his crib and fuck around and leave some evidence, you dumb mother So he ended up going to the man's house and left a piece of mail over there or something like that. And uh, the wife ended up going right behind him and finding it too. She found that little piece of mail on him too, you know what I'm saying? And um, she also was going through his um, his thing that she realized that uh, the man was getting better. The husband went to the hospital and killed him because she seen it in the um, GPS, like where he was, where he was. 
because bitch the history is in the car okay so yeah anyways the wife ended up going to the trailer park of the house and realizing that um that was the man who the husband had killed and she started questioning her husband she's like why was you even like at this man's house and number one the only reason she started questioning him because he came home and he was like hey i seen that you on the gps app no she, she grabbed she he grabbed the bitch phone and seen that she was on the gps app and he was like oh my god you use this app too and she was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, me too. That's how I know she was over there by the damn trailer parts of the mother that I killed. And he's trying to play it off like, she was like, nah, fuck why I was over there. Why the hell you was over there, bitch? And why the fuck was your male in the house? But I can't tell y'all what happened, bitch. That's the part where I started smoking and eating the pizza and I forgot and I tried to freak the bitch that was in bed, but we didn't. So I, I didn't, I didn't uh, pay attention to that part. We were fat for Anyways, they ended up having a family event at the house and shit. Uh, Proof was already in the pudding. She had already went through all his stuff. She went through his little secret room because he got a secret room. <clears throat> she went through everything that ever had anything to do with the mother but still was the kitchen on. Boom. They had a whole bunch of people come to the house for the housewarming party. You, remember, you know what I'm saying? Mother I broke into it twice so they weren't able to have no housewarming party till the next goddamn month. So they ended up having a housewarming party. Yeah, by the middle of party. Hey, bitch, we here. What you wanna do? Why? Why in the hell? The wife ended up finding the damn little girl in the house in a little dungeon area of the house. I'm, I'm trying to take it out too fast, but I don't give a damn. The man had the little girl pimp up, goddamn, in some, 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 some cuffs. He had her hands stuck like this down. She was sitting down and she had a some in her mouth and she had her um eyes, everything was blindfolded and everything was just covered up. The wife ended up finding the girl down there and she started panicking. She was like, oh my god. Instead of looking behind her the whole time, she just trying to take the damn little girl loose. So she said she caught herself trying to loosen the little girl up, putting the shit out of her mouth. So it's okay. Yeah. And soon as she turned around, why the husband was right there. Soon as she turned around, I was like, Dang. It's a suspenseful ass movie, y'all. And and that's, that pissed me off. Cause bitch, you should've been watching your goddamn back. You already figured some shit out about me. I wanted the husband to kill me. At that point, I wanted him to win. Because at this point, bitch, they want you to win too. Ain't nobody doing the right. But yeah, when she found the little girl, the husband came and found her. When she found the little girl, knocked the ass out, tied her back up. Had both of their ass down up, tied the fuck up. The wife ended up getting free, then she freed the little girl. They both tried to jump the man a little bit, you know what I'm saying? To fight the man. Uh, he ended up knocking the wife the fuck out take because they both escaped he ended up uh okay so boom let me let me rewind this when they started jumping the man they made it up the stairs and 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 they closed the door they closed him in the dungeon slammed his hand but he ended up locking the doors from his house i mean he ended up locking the doors from his phone because y'all remember he built the house from scratch so when this mother Lock all the doors. They locked in the house. Oh my God, what to do? This is what pissed me off. <laughs> bitch, y'all locked in a glass house. If you don't grab the nearest lamp and bust yourself up out this bitch, all these fucking windows, and you tell you can't, you can't fucking get you. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, so that's what happened. It was a goddamn house. Um, He locked them in the house, and then he started, you know what I'm saying, fighting back, trying to get them and all that shit. Um, He ended up knocking the wife the fuck out some type of way did he grab the little girl because apparently he don't give a fuck about the wife he grabbed the little girl to come back downstairs and was finna do some more crazy shit to her he was finna hit her ass with a bat or something you feel me but the wife ended up coming down with the statue of liberty or some bitch and poked his ass in the back of the head she put a hole in the shit and you know how movies go it took him a minute to die but he look anyways we finna review these dumplings the thing i've been realizing about these dumplings is that they've been sold out everywhere and the only reason, hold on, the only reason that these dumplings been sold out in the world is because uh, everybody keep buying the box version. This is not the right box. I'm gonna show y'all the right box. So I bought three bags and, and, and two boxes, okay? And let me show y'all what the difference is, which is nothing, okay? Y'all motherfuckers is doing the most. If y'all wanted them so bad, why y'all wanna fuck up everybody's experience of trying them? Y'all keep buying all of these when these are the same fucking thing. It's just a big ass bag of them. The, you define it in subordinate. Fucking bitch, go get the big bag and quit getting this small bag. Let everybody not care about the crime because you're free to ass. Anyways, y'all, these are the ones I got. I got the pork and vegetable, and I decided to only get two boxes just in case I ain't motherfucking like them. And if I really wanted some, I decided to order. I also did order um the boxes, like a hundred boxes off of uh Walmart. I don't know if it was a hundred, but I ordered a lot on my Walmart, and the, the price of them was a hundred or something. So, bitch, if you wanted them like that, then do that. Y'all be doing the most. I, I see a lot of y'all just buying forty-four boxes of them just to go make a TikTok with them, bitch. You just spent that much money for some content. Did you make it back, bitch? TikTok don't pay number fifty dollars per million. The hell, anyways. Got this. 
This is pork and vegetable, which is the same thing as this. Do y'all not see that y'all been going the fuck crazy for no reason? The only thing different is the shape. The only thing different is the shape of these bitches. I'm gonna get it bad though. I'm, I'm, I ain't nothing wrong with that extra large, extra large dumpling, juicy feeling. How you like it that much, we still keep going back to grab, really grab these. See, sometimes I, I promise you, if it ain't trending, they ain't gonna do it. And um, anyways, this is the uh, flavor that everybody been trying too, chicken and vegetable flavor. What it do, y'all? It's K, and y'all got on my damn nerves for this review. Don't ever rush me to try no sold out ass shit again. Bitch, I done went all the way to Never Ever Land trying to find them damn dumps. And for the motherfuckers that went to Walmart and grabbed 40 boxes, bitch, I hope they expire before you get to them. You old greedy, needy, feed ass bitch. Every time I ordered a box, they replaced them with the damn bag. And I was like, it got to be something about the boxes. There ain't nobody ordering the bag. I'm talking about I could barely catch a box of them, bitch. I said, you know what? I'm not finna motherfucker. I ain't finna go up through dump dump bitch. Yeah, I knew as soon as I started stuttering, I had to figure out another solution. So when I was trying to order them for the 45th time off Walmart, I had realized that they'll sell you a, uh, they'll send you a box through the mail. And the box come with some boxes up in it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, for them bitches that thought I wasn't going to find them dumplings. Got them. And just like that bitch that was talking shit that thought I'd never pull a bitch. Got her. On my mama, like, bitch, please. And I know you watch my full reviews. I had to throw that in there for you. Told you. Dummy. My bad, y'all. I like to sneak this bitches back the way they sneak this me on Twitter. Bitch, I'ma see it and you watch my videos. You can't not, bitch. I'm therapy. And I'm sorry. I know I did the most, but I feel like y'all did the most too. Sit up there tagging me in some shit every day, telling me some try these dumps. Like, I don't know if y'all know or not, but I don't even want to hear the fucking word dump right now, bitch. I just got dumped. The fuck? Fuck these dumplings. But anyways, I got them and the shit on the side is some shit that I'ma show y'all. Listen. Uh, watch the damn video. Now these is the bags that Instacart kept replacing them with. Which I had to realize was the same shit in them damn boxes. Well to be honest, no it's not cause that's dumplings and those are one time. But anyways y'all, I took them out the little pack and, the, and it come with some little sauce sauce up in there. Why y'all got me reviewing some shit that even much look like this? I don't like these ball set looking at dumplings. I don't like how it look at all. Shit look like a caterpillar. It look like an old sock you'll find on somebody's brother's bed. Cause bitch, I remember I spent out at my friend's house and I went onto her brother's bed. And I'ma be real, it wasn't even no socks. It was some balled up ass drawers. Baby, them drawers had me traumatized. I ain't spinning out over there again. As I was admiring the dumplings, I got to admire my nails, bitch. I, I really love them. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm that bitch, and if I wanted to, I could sponsor nails. Fresh new set on a hoe. If you ain't paid for them, then bitch, you have to go. Come on down and get your French tips sponsored by K. Now, y'all, the first box I had ordered was chicken, and I had put them in the all, all the air fry, because I just felt like they looked at soggy in y'all videos, and I don't know why y'all was sitting up there overhyping them. It was just looking a little too sluggish for me. I said, what the fuck is they eating? A bunch of squibble. Feet, and I had put the other pack in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds like it told me to. Now, this is how I made my little sauce. I don't give a damn about how Bell Bib and DeVoe made this. Sometimes y'all just be doing shit because it look cute. I seen a bitch put some steak sauce on them. Don't piss me off now. I done had a bad week. They deleted my Instagram, gave it back. I don't know what the hell going on. I put some vinegar oil up in there, some damn sriracha, and, and, and some sweet chili sauce, okay? And I stirred it on up. It ain't taking much. I done stirred a couple things in life before. Coochie bitch back. Okay, see, listen to me. Don't listen to me. That's the point. Stop listening to me. Now, Biggie Bo is the dumpling brand, which is saying, why are we eating anything named Biggie Bo? But they had their own little sauce too, so I bought it and put it in another little container because I wanted to taste it. Now, when the motherfucker that I put in the microwave came out, I, I, I was excited. I'm not going to lie to you. I grabbed my little karate sticks. I said, oh, y'all, bitch. <laughs> not finna have still. Y'all, when I was young, I was in the band and I played the French horn and the trombone. But I really wanted to play the drums. Bitch. I wanted to be Nick Cannon and Drumline so bad, but Mr. Lewis wanted me to play that ugly ass French horn. I quit right then and there, bitch. I don't give a damn what the band need. Plus, every time I went to PE, everybody said band was lame. I had to get the hell up out of there. I had friends who went to college off full blown scholarships off a damn trumpet. I should have blew a little harder, huh? My bad, y'all. I talked too damn much. I had to put the soy sauce and the concoction that I made all across the damn dumplings that came out the microwave. Now, when I read that box, that box said put them in the microwave for a minute and 45 seconds. I think that was a minute and 45 lives, bitch. It was still a little cold to me, and I don't play like that. That's what I done. I almost jacked them damn dumplings up. I put them back in there for 45 more seconds and then fuck with them a little more. I said, hold on. They even nastier when they hot, bitch. You really can't give everything and everybody a chance, okay? See, I can't give y'all ass no chance. Because when I try to give y'all a chance, y'all tell me to eat some damn dumplings that I don't like. I stumped them bitches down so hard in the trash can, I made sure. I ain't want to see them bitches at the top of my trash, bitch. I ain't even want to remember that I threw them away. Now, this is what shit get tricky, because I'm really thinking that I hate the shit, right? Then I had to got to remembering that I put some in the ass. And I'm not going lie, them scare me too. I don't like how they look. They look like dog ball. I don't like shit like that, okay? I like the food to look like me. Cute. I said I was too pretty to be cheated on the other day on, on uh, Facebook and somebody gonna come in and say, you one of the guys now. Stop calling yourself pretty. I am a bad bitch, okay? Not no goddamn guy. Now, y'all, I put the same little soy sauce and concoction on my, uh, my, my air fried dumplings, right? Now, be a little careful when you eat them, bitch, because y'all been a bunch of lip and sue me because I ain't said shit. It's hot, okay? But I promise you, bitch, when you air fry them, it's worth all the little... <laughs> That you gonna have to go through. I should've ate that motherfucker with a little sense, bitch. I told the roof of my mouth up. But listen, y'all, I'ma tell y'all right now, I don't know if it's the pork flavor or the chicken flavor that made it like 
taste better. But the air fried ones, well, shit. Y'all know I've been fucking with that Muslim, so I ain't really been eating pork like that. So maybe pork just don't sit well with me no more. That's what I thought. But that's what I be saying. But bitch, I ate bacon this morning. I need to shut the fuck. Oh, she better not watch this video. She ain't gonna fuck with me. I ain't gonna be able to meet nobody. But that's how they looked it on the inside in case y'all caught that. Shit. I ended up waking up the next morning, cutting on my camera, setting it up, and then acting like I woke up again. Because I was like, you know what? Let me try the bitches in the bag. I bought $40 worth of them bitches in the bag. We gonna try the bitches in the bag for sure. And yeah, bitch, I put them in the air fryer. To be honest, bitch, I got them other boxes for the L. Let me know if anybody needs some dumplings, I'll come drop them bitches off on you right now. I got a three five of them bitches going for forty, and if I gotta pull up on you, that's an extra four dollars. I had remade my looking cocktail so I can dip it and I stir it on up. What Young Jesus said: First, I'm gonna stack some dough, then I'm gonna stack some more, then I'm gonna move some salmon and call some. What the fuck you did at this auntie? I'm telling y'all, they way better when they air fried. The velocity is so perfect. I see that it seems that if you air fry them, one side is a bit crunchy and the other side is a bit soft on the texture. The circumference of both sides was even. Now I'm be real. I I think the bag better. The wonton just better than me. I took my soy sauce and my concoction and I threw it all across. You see that? That's beautiful. That's a beautiful bitch. Not the food, bitch. Me. Focus. Think big. Now, y'all, I'm not fucking over-exaggerating when I say the magnitude of the crunch and the magnitude of the softness went together so perfectly. It, it was extremely astonishing. The wonton was stuffed so beautifully. It was so perfect. I may have gotten a bit overwhelmed as I was eating. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I got a little... I dogged them hoes out. I got the murk them bitches. I ate them hoes in 45 different ways. I said, ooh, what position I'm putting these bitches in? I ate them bitches from the back and the side. I really played too much, because why I do that? That shit went funny to me. That shit went funny, because you don't waste no fucking one ton. When I mean it, when you don't waste no, I still ate it. You know, fuck. That's my counter, and don't nobody get put on that but me, bitch. Honestly. I get put on the counter by a bitch or two. I like me a, a, a strong bitch. I like a bitch to treat me like I'm Keisha Cole. Take me away, I love my baby. I love my baby. But now, for real, if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube, following and liking my support page on Facebook and following me on Instagram, even though they just deleted it and they gave it back, but I ain't mad at them because what they did, they gave it back. If you ain't doing all that and you ain't following me on TikTok, if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I had to say that again because sometimes y'all will see these videos right here, but you don't click and like them. I need you to do that much too. But yeah, if you don't do all that, then you're not real. You're fake and you're hating. Like I said, if you ain't subscribed to my YouTube, it's because you're too busy hating. I smash, I smash so these niggas fake, they some ass, I'm smack to talk when I dance with the Glock like a pass, like a step on his ass like some glass, some these niggas know I been doing this shit on crib, I swear to God it ain't new, told the bitch after I hit this bitch you gotta do, one other bitch out of the